This is our current shop slash garage. It is 16 feet wide by 8 feet tall and about 30 feet deep. And for the last five years, it's been fantastic. But when people talk about older stuff and they use the word character or rustic to make it sound not as bad, this building definitely has a lot of character. It's time for it to go. It's got holes in the ceiling. It's had animals in and out of here. A few tenants, if you'd like to call them that. Hello there. I'm pretty sure the back wall is made from an old bus station. Only half of it has any bit of floor to it. And the front half is just a gravel floor. Its doorway is only six, is not even six feet tall, which possesses a problem. It is uninsulated. The only power we have in here are the lights that you have to plug into the house with an extension cord. The hope is to have a new shop that has the basics. <laughs> We're not looking for anything crazy. New, you know, insulated, taller. The current shop is 16 feet wide, eight feet tall by 30 feet deep. And the new shop will be 24 by 20 with full eight foot ceilings in here where this sh current shop is eight feet tall at the peak. The new shop will have a full roll up door and a man door which will be nice, it'll be insulated. We're gonna be building it out of uh, structural insulated panels or SIB panels, which will be equivalent to a two by six wall, fully insulated. SIB panels are a sandwich of two sheets of 5 8 OSB with a sheet of uh, five and a half inch foam in the middle to simulate a two by, two by six inch wall. Uh, the new shop itself will be pretty basic square. We are unsure of design choices, whether it's going to be a, a sided building or corrugated steel. We've done a few corrugated steel garages in the past or stucco, whether the roof is going to be shingled or a metal roof. Those things have not been decided yet. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I really appreciate it. But we're really just looking for a place to store things properly. This place wasn't exactly weather tight. You couldn't store any uh, freezables in here. It would just be nice to have a space to build whatever we wanted to build. It is normal for us to build custom stuff on site at job sites and it'd be nice to have a spot to come back to clean, lots of light warm in the winter. Here in Canada, it'd be nice to have a, a nice insulated heated shop that can be used year round. For the last five years of my career, a lot of projects have come in and out of this place, whether it's a custom vanity or custom furniture or whatever. I guess what I'm trying to say is it's not the building that produces the product, it's your imagination and your skill level and just giving it a shot. You don't necessarily need to have a perfect building space. I've done plenty of work outside underneath a canopy or even inside the back of my cargo or the cargo trailer. We're just looking for a clean space with a nice flat concrete floor insulated. Turn on the music, crank, crank the tunes, just have a good time and build whatever we want to build. We've been getting into more epoxy stuff. The last two showers we've done we had to pour inside the house in the living room and we did a big shower recently up north where it was a 20 foot plus epoxy pour and it all had to be do done on site because we didn't have a clean enough big enough building to do it here and just deliver it on site. I think it'd be really cool to have a spot where I could finally build all the projects that I've thought about for years and years and years. We have a bunch of the barn wood left over from that if you guys have watched the video, which I'll link it down below, I have a time lapse of a barn being taken down a few hours east of here. And we still have like 70% of the barn wood left here. For example, I've always wanted to build like a big, 
like harvest table, dining room table with the matching benches. A buddy of mine, Tyler, made me these awesome rustic wheels that I've always wanted to do like a coffee table cart with the lift top on it. And I keep, you know, he, he made me those wheels God forever ago. And uh, I always said once I have a space to make it, I'll make it. So <laughs> I guess you guys can hold me to that if I ever get my coffee table done. Hi, future Dylan here. I'd like to take this moment to clarify, this building was never actually a shop. It was mostly used for construction material storage and tool storage for our construction company. And this is the first time it has ever been empty. Now that we have a separate location to store our stuff, it would be nice to have a clean, empty shop space. I stand by my statement that you don't necessarily need a fancy shop to build stuff but it would be nice to have a nice warm space in the winter when I have the most time to build things for myself. Okay, back to you, past Dylan. I will be documenting the demolition, the concrete, the framing, everything. If that's something that interests you guys, please subscribe to the channel. Please hit that like button and thank you for watching the, today's video. I'm gonna try to get these videos out as quick as possible. Obviously the building is still standing and next week we might be tearing it down so I'll be recording that but in the meantime I also have a few videos that I'm working on currently a few bathrooms epoxy showers and stuff that it will be out soon so I'm not sure what video you'll see next but I'm hoping you enjoy them again please like and subscribe I would really appreciate it